The Vase files have become front and center in India's most murky and tantalizing crime thriller playing out from Mumbai. The power centers of Maharashtra have been shaken as well. And tainted cop Sachin Vase has now been sent to National Investigation Agency custody till the 3rd of April. India Today has accessed inside details of court proceedings in this case. The NIA had sought 15 days custody of Sachin Vase, citing the unlawful activities prevention act the nia told the court that 62 unaccounted live bullets were found at sachin vase's residence and that the agency needed time to find out the purpose behind him keeping those live ammunition rounds at home well adding further in its submission the nia said that they have large cdr data compact disc data to go through the probe agency has also taken the arrested cops voice samples for further investigation Meanwhile, Sachin Vase told the court through his legal team that he's being made a scapegoat in this entire case and he has no links with this crime that is erupting in Maharashtra and that he himself went to the NIA after which he was arrested. Sachin Vase is being quizzed for his alleged role in the planting of an explosive laden SUV near India's richest man Mukesh Ambani's residence Antilia in Mumbai on the 25th of February. But the, new, but the news agenda today was set by India Today early this morning with two sets of CCTV footage. India Today accessed these visuals which nail Sachin Vase's lies that he didn't know murdered car dealer Mansu Kiren. It's not one but two videos that nail this policeman's lies. The biggest turning point in the Ambani bomb case probe Tell all CCTV footage establishing a link between main accused Sachin Vase and murdered key witness Mansu Kiren. India today sets the news agenda with this big news break with two sets of CCTV images. In the first set of exclusive CCTV footage, the victim Mansu Kiren can be seen alighting from a white cab at the Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus station on the 17th of February. He waits before crossing the busy intersection. The second set of exclusive CCTV images shows a blue-colored Mercedes driven by Sachin Vase himself. The Mercedes stops at the signal and remains stationary even when the lights turn green. Mansu Kiren is seen walking across the road and getting into the waiting Mercedes, which then drives off with Sachin Vase at the wheel. India today scoops out evidence which may prove a watershed movement in Antilia bomb scare case. It proves that how Sachin Vase lied. Sachin Vase knew Mansu Kiren. This footage nails Sachin Vase's lies. It actually cracked the whole Antilia bomb scare case. The second video where Vase and Hiren were caught together is from February the 26th a day after explosives were found in an SUV outside Ambani's residence, Antilia. Vase and Mansuk Hiren are seen driving together in another luxury vehicle and getting down. Not just that, India Today earlier showed how Sachin Vase was seen driving the getaway white Innova car used by the Antilia bomb planter. The vehicle reached a spot nearby to Antilia, Mukesh Ambani's residence, on the 24th of February at 4.35 a.m. when Sachin Vase, in a loose overall, got down to plant the threat letter addressed to the Ambanis in the gelatin stick-laden black Scorpio. The National Investigation Agency got the lead from these CCTV images from Mulun Toll Plaza, where the Innova was caught on CCTV the same night at 5.18 a.m. These images nail the disgraced police officer and give clinching evidence of his direct role. Bust his chief lies of never having known Mansu Kiren and having no role in the Antilia bomb plot. With Sahil Joshi and team in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. And in a totally explosive turn of events in the Ambani bomb scare case that has jolted the Mumbai police and the political structures of Maharashtra, India Today has learned that a mystery woman had also checked into a five-star hotel in Mumbai where Sachin Vase was lodged from February 16th to 20th. The NIA is trying to ascertain the details of this mystery woman. Who is she? Let's try and find out.
a bomb scare targeting India's richest man. A suspended encounter specialist arrested for murdering a businessman. A sea-facing five-star hotel in the poshest area of Mumbai. Bags full of cash and a mystery woman. Every new day begins with a new twist in the high-profile Ambani bomb scare case. Twists enough to be turned into a blockbuster film or a binge-worthy series. The National Investigation Agency is grilling former encounter specialist Sachin Vaze. But the cop refuses to blink, leaving some glaring questions. Who is the mystery woman spotted at the five-star hotel? Why was the woman carrying a machine meant for counting notes? What's the secret of five black bags being carried to the hotel? Why was the hotel room booked for a period of 100 days? Why did Sachin Vaze take his identity to stay in room number 1964? Sources in the NIA have told India today that Sachin Vaze is playing mind games with the interrogators. This despite the fact that probe agency has managed to recover Vaze's fake Aadhaar card used to check in at the hotel. Why was Sachin Vaze staying in a five-star hotel in Mumbai from 16 to 20th February? The, close to the incident of the gelatin six found outside Antila. CCTV footage of this hotel has been seized by, by NIA. In the CCTV footage, Sachin Vaze is seen there is a woman for whom the NIA is looking for. She has a cash counting machine in her hand. There were two cash counting machines which were seized earlier from a Mercedes car which was used by Sachin Vaze. So was that the same machine and why this was happening? Was there a cash dealing happening? There are also news of a jeweler who was under investigation by Mumbai police booking these rooms for 100 days for Sachin Vaze. To simplify the case, we tell you the inside details that uncover the Sachin Vaze, the Trident Hotel's room number 1964 link. Days before the gelatin-laden Scorpio was found near Antilla, Vaze was spotted with the woman at the five-star hotel Trident on February 16th. CCTV footage has found that the woman wearing a mask had entered the hotel with a machine used to count currency notes. The NIA is going through at least 35 cameras across the hotel to verify her identity. Although Vaze has refused to identify the woman, the sleuths have stumbled upon clinching evidence to nail the disgraced cop. So the question arises, was Sachin Vaze handling a crucial case related to dark deals in the maximum city? Were several women being grilled in connection with the case? Was the woman spotted with Vaze linked to that case? But why is the identity of this mystery woman so important? It is believed that the woman knows the secret behind the five black bags found from Vaze's possession. The concerned woman will answer the mystery around the counting machine. The investigators suspect that the women knew Antila inside out and might spill the secret of the room number 1964. The CCTV footage shows that the mystery woman knew Vaze very well. She was spotted with him in the cop's car and then inside the hotel on February 16th. With Divesh Singh and Mustafa Sheikh in Mumbai Bureau Report, India Today. Now remember the NIA is probing arrested cop Sachin Vaze's stay at that five-star hotel in South Mumbai. The NIA has grilled Vaze on the content of the five bags he carried with him while he was seen entering the hotel during his stay between February 16th and 20th. In another explosive lead, Vaze's luxury stay was allegedly funded by a businessman and he had used fake Aadhaar cards to enter the hotel. Here's how he did it. Sachin Vaze, one man the NIA is hoping will spill the beans. This is the black Mercedes that Vaze used to drive before he got arrested. It's the same car from which NIA recovered 5 lakh rupees in cash and a note counting machine. And this is where the mystery deepens. Is this the same note counting machine that was carried by the woman spotted at the Trident Hotel with Vaze? Was the 5 lakh recovered by Vaze's Mercedes just a small fraction of the money carried in black bags? The NIA team is now trying to connect these dots. But here's what we know. Revelation 1. A businessman booked a hotel room at the Trident. Revelation 2. Room number 1964 was booked for 100 days. Revelation 3. The businessman handed over the money to Vaze at the hotel. Revelation 4. The hotel room cost Rs. 15,000 per day. 
Revelation 5 was they allegedly signed a secret deal in room number 1964. NIA has identified the businessman who booked the five-star hotel room for Vase. Sources say Vase used to stay in room number 1964, but the bill was paid by a travel company. NIA could soon be questioning the owner of this travel firm. The black bag could contain the amount from the secret dealings. NIA has so far questioned the staff of the five-star hotel. What did the hotel staff see when the bag was scanned? Did the hotel staff know what was inside the bag? NIA has an image of the black bag, retrieved from the hotel CCTV footage. NIA raided Vase's home, but the investigation team believes that he had hidden the bag. With Divya Singh in Mumbai Bureau Report, India Today. Assistant Police Inspector Sachin Vase if you aren't fully aware of his suspected involvement in the Antilia bomb scare case, you've obviously heard his name by now. His path in the Mumbai police has been a very, very troubled one across two decades. And he now finds himself in the darkest corner of his career. Sachin Vasi, a name not new to controversies. The Mumbai cop has been arrested by the NIA over his alleged link with the Ambani bomb mystery case and the subsequent suspected murder of the SUV owner, Mansuk Khire. In 2004, Vasi was linked to the infamous Khwaja Yunus encounter case. After facing murder charges, Vasi had to resign due to the custodial death of the 2002 Kharkopar blast suspect. The Mumbai cop has now become the center stage of a political slugfest for his proximity with Maharashtra Chief Minister Uddhav Thakri as he had joined the Shiv Sena in 2008 after resigning from service in 2007. Chief Minister Uddhav has backed Vasi despite the multiple rows. Sachin Vasi, when you Osama bin Laden, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, I have to say, you 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 Vase was earlier the head of criminal intelligence unit of the CIU of the Mumbai crime branch and was associated with the high profile cases, including the TRP rigging scan. In 2016, he took over Bollywood actor Rithik Roshan's case against Kangana Ranaut, involving an exchange of emails between the two. A perceived admirer of encounter specialist Pradeep Sharma, Vase followed the footsteps to gain popularity as an encounter specialist. He has reportedly killed over 60 alleged criminals in a series of encounters in Mumbai and Thane area. This time, the law seems to have finally caught up with the encounter cop. It's not the first time that Sachin Vase has been arrested. Last time, it was a case of custodial death related to a blast case. This time the charges are more serious. Planting explosive and an alleged murder. Will Sachin Vaze be brought to books this time? With camera person Mangesh Ambre Mustafa Sheikh in Mumbai for India Today. Hello everyone, this is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.